Hello, this is Joe Hildreth and welcome to another episode of Exploring Joomla 2.5 for Extension Development. In this episode we're going to demonstrate how to take the copy of Joomla that you've installed on your virtual host and get it into NetBeans as a project. Now there are really a couple ways that you can do this. One is that you could download uh, the project from uh, Joomla CMS you know, from Get and actually import it as a project uh, th there's a couple problems with that if you go that route you'll have to uh, do something with the installation dir directory because as we talked about earlier uh, if that directory exists uh, and the index uh, file underneath it Joomla will not run and the other thing is you have to worry about uh, making sure that you don't push any changes to the Joomla code base back upstream and as you're developing a uh, component um, that's a real possibility so the second method is to just attach Joomla as a project to NetBeans uh, as an existing project uh, with existing sources. So that's, that's the way we're going to handle that. I'd like to remind you, uh, if you have questions, uh, you can always come and visit us at myheap.com. Click on Technology and Exploring Joomla 2.5 and at the top here contact us you can uh, send us an email uh, you can post your questions to the YouTube channel uh, and we encourage you to come here and look around where we provide you know PDFs of the of the lesson uh, where we can and of course the video so let's uh, let's go uh, move forward so you'll need to open up NetBeans and when NetBeans opens up as you recall the splash screen here starts up unless you've elected to turn it off. We have no projects uh, to date uh, on the left hand side so this is pretty easy. We're just going to click File and New Project or you can press Control Shift N. The New Project dialog will pop up and what we're interested here in is under the categories we want to select PHP because it's a Joomla is a PHP uh, application and then under Projects we want to select PHP application with existing sources and then click Next. Now on this dialog we need to select the sources folder and as you recall we've installed Joomla in a folder that we've created for our virtual host. If you've been following this series that folder will be called JoomDev and be on your desktop. So we're going to click Browse and we're going to go to the desktop. You see that we're already there. Or at least I am, uh, and then I'm going to highlight Joom Dev, and I'm going to click OK. You notice that it automatically fills in the project name and lets us know what PHP version that we're running. Okay. Now the other thing that I would recommend, and and sometimes maybe this isn't a good thing, but I don't like the source code cluttered up with metadata, so I like to check this checkbox, and then I want to browse, and then under my home folder, I'm going to look for the folder called. NetBeans projects. I'm gonna, that's where I want my metadata to go for this project. I'm going to say OK. And that's really it. That's all I have to do. I'm going to hit finish now because we don't need to worry about run configuration because we're not actually going to run Joomla from within uh, the code editor. We're going to run Joomla from our web browser. So I'm going to click finish. Joomla will create the new project. Might take a little bit. When it creates the project, it will put the uh, JoomDev folder over here in uh, the projects tree with source files and in include path. So under source files, uh, this is where all the code for Joomla is. So if you were to go out and look at the JoomDev folder, you would see the exact same structure you'd see in an administrator folder, cache, command line interface, components, images, etc. And then by default it uh, is going to open up the index.php because it recognizes that that is the <clears throat> that that's the uh, start uh, starting point for the uh, Joomla CMS. So really that's it. That's all there is to uh, installing it. Now I have mentioned off and on you know the benefits of putting Joomla inside of an IDE is it allows you to look down. Uh, and uh, up and down classes and, and look at the internal documentation of Joomla. So as an example for that, let's uh, let's just take a component, uh, the front end component. So we'll expand the components folder and uh, I don't know, let's select uh, com users. Okay, com users has uh, 
views related to it and the views that it has related are login, profile, registration, remind, and reset. Well, let's look at the login view and let's open up view.html.php. So here we say, you know, we see that a class called users view login uh, is created that extends J legacy. Now we know J legacy class exists because this extends it. So if we right click the J view legacy class and say navigate and go to declaration, it will open up the file uh, that contains this class. So here we have class JView Legacy. Well, this just it's a, just a holder class and it extends JView. So we could do the same thing with JView. If I right click JView, JView, select Navigate and go to de Declaration, we open up View.php. This is where class JView is created and it extends J object. But now if we look through here, we can see different variables that are created that are part of the class in the documentation. For example, uh, underscore name. This is the name of the view. Um, we come down here toward the bottom. Uh, we see more variables. But now here's the constructor and you notice to see there's information here on the constructor and its use. And it's very handy to be able to look at your code and try to, you know, and understand where in Joomla that it's going. So the IDE um, kind of helps us out in this. Now I'm not real great with an IDE. I'm really not even a programmer by trade. I'm a network guy. I've been uh, about the last year learning to program. So there are probably things that I don't have right. This is just things that have helped me. I just want to pass on. Maybe it helps somebody else. And if we got some look, if we got some NetBeans uh, gurus out there, or um, one of the other IDE, and would like to um, join in on this project and make it better we welcome you. i be happy to put your name up on the website and uh, make you contactable through the website and get the videos on the YouTube channel and really try to make this a bit of a community project. So anyway, that's as far as I want to go with this. Uh, in future videos, we'll talk about how to create a very, very basic skeleton of a component, um, how it fits into Joomla, how it fits into Joomla's database, and we'll move on from there. So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, you know, now know how to get uh, really any existing source uh, project into the NetBeans IDE um, just by you going file and add new project and a PHP project with sources. If, uh, again, if you have questions, please visit our website, uh, select contact us or post uh, your questions in our YouTube channel and we will get to them just as soon as we can. Uh, have a great week and a uh, great weekend if it's close to your Friday when you're watching this. And uh, we'll see you on the next time around. Thanks again. Goodbye.